Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today on Maze Essentials, Creation, Fashion, and Living, I will be taking the time out to do my hair and spend a little time with you and talk about it. <laughs> So it's been um, a while since I've actually done um, long individual braids in my hair. So I was like, you know what, let me record this and get a little footage just to spend a little time with you all and sit back and talk. So I went out and I bought this, this Marley, what is it? It's like a um, cankalon hair and it's a um, model model Jamaican twist braid. So, let me tell y'all something. I'm so old school with it. The last time I remember really purchasing um, kinky twist hair to, to um, do some kinky twist in my hair, um, whoa, has been like over, ten, ooh, so long ago. More than 10 years because I had my locks for a long time. I'll put a picture up here to show you all with my locks, like how my locks were, so. Oh, my hair has been loose for a long, 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 long time, for over 15 years. So that's how long it's been since I actually went out to purchase any type of braiding hair. And this is what the lady in the store told me to buy. And I gotta say, it's a pretty, it's a, it looks pretty good so far. So this is where I've gotten so far. I started on it yesterday. I just like let me get some of it done before I start to record myself but this is where I've gotten so far with it and I'm doing it all myself it's long too this is the longest I've ever done any braids in my hair so this is where I'm at with it <laughs> not bad not bad not a lot to do I started yesterday um like around three o'clock, two or three o'clock, I believe. And um, I did work on it for a few hours. Then we stopped to do our our um, Christmas greetings for our YouTubers out there. So my husband and I, we also have a channel called Main and Tay, and we were working on. Um, some footage for that so I stopped to do that and I, I gotta say it was kind of the right time because the outfit the pajama set that we put on it went really well with me being able to cover the top of my hair because I wasn't finished so I was able to put like this little um, bonnet and hair tie around it just to just to, in a little headband just to give me a little flavor to go with what my pajamas was like so it worked out just fine but anyway so how I'm doing this I'm literally using one of these strips to put on each braid I think it was like only two of them where I pretty much used a couple of them to um, double it up because it was a thinner a thinner um, twist but these this is how it looks when it comes in the pack I take one of these, fold them over, and twist it in. Okay? So, I'll just do a little bit to show you how I do the process. Because my hair, my hair is like a, um, it's a 4A. So, I can't keep braids in too, too long because my texture is, is kind of like soft. So, I really don't like to, um, keep keep the braids in too long I, I know from um doing hair i had a salon for years so it depends on the texture of your hair if you're able to keep uh braids in so 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 long but i've never been the one to try to keep even before i started my locks i was never the one to try to keep braids or anything in my hair for a long long time so i just parted across here's it's plenty of ways people could part their hair to do it. I'm just doing it like this because I kind of want that that look to just kind of fall back. And plus, I'm not even going to tell no tale. Since we moved to North Carolina and I had took my locks out, um, the beginning stage of being here was such a big 
was such a big uh, change for me that I believe I was I was stressing myself out so much because I was missing being back at home. I was missing the way a lot of things were going for us prior to the move. So it stressed me out so much, y'all. I do got a bald spot on the top of my head. It's, and I'm like working hard to try to get my hair to grow back. But the way it looked, I'm not sure. With doing hair, I'm, I'm not sure if that'll grow back because I've never... Um, it's so bald. I, I don't understand. And it's like right here. So I was kind of like iffy about putting braids on it because of that bald spot. But I said... I've been rocking my fro for a minute now. And I was like, maybe I need to to go ahead and do something different to it. My husband been wanting me to do a different look. Because he was like, you took your locks down to be more creative and do different things with your hair. And I'm just rocking this, this fro. And, you know, it ain't that I don't think he don't think I look extremely beautiful. Because he always tells me how beautiful he knows I am. But he like, baby, just don't let that spot discourage you. If it's stuff you want to do with your hair, just do it. And um, figure out the ways to work around it. And I'm not ashamed. I do have a ball spot up there. So I have to figure out how to work around it. And um, hopefully continue to treat it. And over time, it'll grow back. So I make this moringa oil. And it's out of um, a powder. I mix it with olive oil. Well, numerous types of oils if I want to. You know what I'm trying to say? But I mix it with straight, natural, just straight up olive oil. I don't put no other oils or anything in there. And it's, it's that and the moringa powder. And it's been steeping for a long time. But let me show y'all something. Y'all see that powder down there? That's, that's the moringa powder. That down there. So I take that powder right there. That substance. And I'm rubbing it on a spot to try to get it to grow back. And I've used it on plenty of my clients' edges and stuff like that to grow their edges back. And I've seen it work, but I never used it on a whole ball spot. I'm assuming if it grew their edges back, it should at least grow my ball spot back. But I'll keep you all posted in due time on how that's turning out, but... You know, I said, Charmaine, you don't stop wearing your hair in different styles. You know how to do it just because of that spot is up there. Don't be discouraged. So, y'all will see me starting to do more styles and starting to um, not be so um, worried about it anymore and get out of that from. Plus, I'm starting like a scrunchy hairline um, for, for, for accessories. So I want to be able to wear my scrunchies. I want to be able to display them and stuff like that. And with my fro, I wasn't able to do that. I wouldn't have been able to do it. I hadn't started it. So I was like, I wouldn't be able to do it. So it only makes sense for me to go ahead and, you know, start rock, rocking these braids. So you see, I'm, I'm going to put a little bit of grease. This is what I use. Grease on it. Just to rub the lock the, the lock twist or the twist down I'm sorry I said the lock I'm so used to locks and I rub it down like that I also have some um gel that I use on my hair I love this gel it's some kinky it's called kinky or something like that I use that and I buy it from Target it's a really good brand I love it I put it on my hair it's a good cluster whenever I want my hair to be like where my wedding go I put it on there for that and it curls it up really good and hold my curls well I got this dimming brush and I love this brush it works wonderful but I'm gonna take it and it's like it's like y'all uh, I'm so much an early bird it's four o'clock in the morning here in North Carolina, and I'm already up uh, talking about some let me do this hair, but I get up early like this every morning. I've been doing that since I was little. My grandma, my grandma always had me getting up early in the morning with her, so it's in me. I'm like definitely the early bird trying to catch the worm, so I'll be done with this hair like this, and I'll still be able to get my day going because I need to work on my scrunchies today and get at least about, I want to get at least 
10 to 25 of them made up today. My husband starts his job today. He like to stay busy too, so he was like, he'll do that. And I'll be working on my on my um, business, growing the business on my end while he's at work and backing him up for um, our podcast and all that other stuff we got going on. So I want to be done with this today. I don't want to be sitting around later on doing my hair. So I said, let me get up early and get this hair done and out of the way. So when I get close to the ends like this, I tend to take it and split it apart just like that. And take that little one and split it apart just like that. So now I got two parts again. And it's longer, as you can see. That little piece needed to be blended in so I can stretch it out. And that's how I do it. I didn't want them really thick because of the simple fact I do have that ball spot up there. So I didn't want to make big parts and put more tension around the hair that's around the spot. And not only that, the bigger the parts, it would have exposed my spot a little bit more. And I ain't down for that. So I'm definitely not doing um, bigger parts because of that. But if it starts to grow back in, you will see I will do some bigger style braids and hopefully I'll get get to do my little French braids or cornrows again up there. So I'll be working on that growth in time. So this is just a little bit too big for me. So I'll just take that piece right there out of the equation Other hair. So, this is what it's looking like. Yesterday, before I went to bed, I, I brushed this part out so it wouldn't be so tangled when I got up this morning. Because, you know, after you um, wash your hair, I did my wash and go the other day. So, my curls, some of my curls had still was still settled and pretty tight. So, I was like, ooh, I'm going to have to um, comb some of this out. Because this. This girl right here tangled. So, once again. I know I said I wasn't going to do too much talking, but I figured this was one of these videos. I definitely should talk to y'all because most of the times I'm just um, talking about the projects or something that I'm doing and working on instead of just straight up talking to y'all and I thought it'd be nice to get on here and just talk to y'all. You know, I don't do that a lot. I got that um, in the closet segment I be doing where it's too, I'm like, self-care matters. You got to care and love yourself. So I pretty much do um, outfits of the day where it's too, I'm just like getting ready a little bit for my day and just throwing on something that's making me feel good. And let me tell y'all something. Sometimes I don't even be going nowhere or out the door I just feel like you know girl go get your thoughts together get yourself together and go get dressed go in the closet make yourself feel good because I am a um, stay at home wife and I don't work uh, a nine to five I still have to get up and give myself that energy and give myself that boost to keep going and still work on my self-esteem and feel as beautiful as I can every day because of the simple fact I'm not um, out anymore at this moment. You know, I'm building things up in a different way. So Please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe and do all those other fun things that you like to do out there in the YouTube world.